All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use Devo to test for an open circuit. So let's first start by looking at what we've got on the bench top here. Now I've got the battery on the right side with the positive and negative posts and the headlight assembly on the left side. I can twist the light bulb and it comes straight out. And then I can squeeze the tab on the headlight connector and I can disconnect that so we can see our headlight connector. And we've got a positive and negative circuit that goes directly to my battery. Now this is a very simple setup. There is no fuse, there's no switch, there's no relay, there's no computer. It's just a very basic, clean setup. And I've kept this really basic and simple to show the concept and the technique of how to test these circuits. I think a lot of times when you're working on a car and you have you know, wires within a harness with a bundle of other wires and it's in conduit, it's routed through all these different sections and you add all these other components, it starts getting really confusing and difficult to understand. So when we break this down to its most simple elements, we've got our power supply, We've got the headlight and then we've got the wires in between. So I'm going to go ahead and reconnect my headlight connector to the bulb. I'm going to put that back into the lens assembly and then I'm going to connect the negative side of my battery. Get that little spark because we've got a high current here. We can see that the light bulb does turn on and it's about four and a half to five amps, which is why we got that spark. We can see that everything in the circuit is working and now I'm gonna go ahead and create that open. So an open is simply where our wires no longer make contact and I'm gonna start on the negative side here and I'm gonna pull that apart. And now we have an open in the circuit. Obviously we can see that that causes the headlight to turn off. And we're gonna use Devo to diagnose this. I'm gonna connect the Devo 22 foot leads directly to the battery. And I do want to point out that in this case, because I'm showing this on, on a, a bench top, it's a very simple, easy view. Um, I obviously have the battery out. In a real world scenario, we would be testing this in the vehicle. We would be using the vehicle's battery. So I would be connecting the 22 foot leads directly to the vehicle's battery. You don't want to grab a second or auxiliary battery and use that for testing. We want to use the battery that is in the vehicle because that's the battery that's powering up all of our circuits. So I just wanted to make that clear before we move forward. Um, like I said, I've got my 22 foot leads connected to the battery. I'm gonna connect the other side of my 22 foot leads to the left side of Devo where it says battery. Devo immediately powers on. Now in this case, we already know that we have an open in the negative side of the circuit, but in a real world scenario, we wouldn't know that. All we know is that the headlight doesn't work. And there's three things that can cause this. The first is a defective bulb. The second is a problem on the positive side of the circuit. And the third is a problem on the negative side of the circuit. So we're gonna test both sides of the circuit. I'm gonna diagnose this the same way I would any circuit. I'm going to connect my test leads to the circuit side of Devo, which is on the right side. So I've got my red test lead and black test lead. I'm gonna squeeze the tab for my headlight connector and I'm going to unplug it. This is gonna give me access to the terminals. The best way to test these is using the Devo forward probes. And they make it very nice and easy to slide straight in and gives you access to test your circuits. I'm gonna connect the positive test lead to the positive circuit. And instantly I can see that my circuit positive LED goes green. This tells me that I have a very low voltage drop, which is ideal. And we can see that we have a zero volt loss on the positive side of the circuit. Now a quick press of the mode button will cycle to the voltage available. And I can see that I have 12.52 volts available at the headlight connector. I'm now gonna connect the negative test lead to the negative side of the circuit. Here we can see that the circuit negative LED remains red. That tells us that we have a very high voltage loss across the ground side of my circuit and that we have 12.51 volts lost on the ground side of the circuit. So that's how much we're losing. Now clearly because our battery voltage is 12.51 and I'm losing 12.51, that tells me that I have an open on the negative side of my circuit. I'm gonna fix that open by reconnecting my connector there 
and we can see that the LED immediately goes green telling me that we have a low voltage loss and we can see that we have zero volts lost across the complete ground side. Now let's take a look at what an open on the positive side of the circuit would look like. So I'm gonna twist these two apart. And now you can see with those apart, we now have an open on the positive side of the circuit. So the circuit positive LED has gone from green to red, and we can see that we have zero volts available. A quick press of the mode button will change that to voltage loss, and we can see that we're losing 12.49 volts on the positive side of the circuit. And because the battery is 12.49 volts, that means we're losing all of the voltage because of that open circuit on the positive side. Now here's what's really great with Devo, is that you can test the positive and negative circuits at the same time. So there's a lot of scenarios where your wires, because they're in a harness and they're routed together, both circuits might end up being affected. So you wouldn't just have an open in one circuit, but you would have an open in both circuits. With a typical multimeter, you can only test one circuit at a time. With Devo, you can test the positive and negative side at the same time, and here we can see that we have an open on both circuits at the exact same time. Now, even though I used the headlight in this example, you can apply the same technique for any component and any circuit on a car. And just like that, you can quickly identify an open circuit using Devo.